Hello everybody. Today we are going to take up the second part of construction management solution demo. Today we are going to focus on tender and bidding management of the solution. In the first video we had seen how we can manage the CRM module for construction industry where we had captured all the details of a tender or an upcoming project in the opportunity form. We track the opportunity through various stages, preliminary, technical, financial qualification, sales recommendation, and finally a confirmation from the uh, project leader to decide whether the, we have to bid for the tender or not. Once it is decided that the tender has to be bid for, a tender is created right from the opportunity form. Now we'll take up how we are going to manage the tender process the tender and finally do the bidding and finally keep a record of all possible information related to tender management. Once a tender has been created from opportunity form, all the information from the opportunity will be automatically copied in the tender form. We can also create a tender directly. However, it is advised to use the CRM module of the construction industry for a full stack integration. As you can see in the screen, the system auto generates a tender internal reference ID. The details of tenders come here. It will automatically be changed. I can revise the information here. I can specify the original tender number as published by the agency. I can define the customer. And other information like project duration, bid validity period, estimated cost, tender fees, or the details are already pre-filled and is automatically executed. The next important thing is the bill of quantity or the schedule of rates. The bill of quantity and schedule of rates are available in the tender documents and generally available as an Excel file. We have a predefined format through which we can use and import the same to our BOQ and SOR module here. This will enable us to keep a record of all the bill of quantities that needs to be executed and needs to be costed around for creating a tender document. And we can also state what is the quoted rate and estimated rate to have a good comparison. The second tab refers to the documents and deliverables which can be attached here. The system is open enough to attach any possible documents that you want. Let's take an example. We can define a document type here as per our choice. Predefining tender notification. or rather any tender documents enable us to know which documents to attach in advance. The system does not have any restriction. You can attach n number of documents. Confidential documents refer to the documents which are confidential in nature and based on the access right provided is only visible to the people who have access to this particular tab. Then we have a predefined pre-bid checklist, which again can be modified as per your requirements, where we have defined what all tasks or activities need to be performed before the bidding takes place. Okay. So I have, for example, we have listed earnest money deposit, date of submission, technical evaluation, and so on. You can define and assign this to different users. You can define different dates.
and you can define once you have assigned them you can put it to assign as soon as you click on assign and click on save it automatically sends an email to the respective person for this particular task okay and in future as time goes by you can also send reminders from here now once the start task starts you can put it this to the preliminary stage the two particular stages have been defined one is preliminary and the other is commercial preliminary stage talks about primarily listing down the technical aspects of the project where what is the material to be required what is the uh, project to be executed how it will be executed and so on okay the next stage would be the commercial stage we can go to that stage by clicking on this commercial button please note for different stages different access rights have been created once this document is ready through the costing sheet where we can upload the costing details and calculate our margin as you can see as an example here you can send this for approval it will go to the person who will take the decision whether to go ahead with this bid or not please note that the pre bid checklist bid submission checklist go runs in parallel and can be assigned and changed as per our choices n number of times once an approval is done the tender reaches the approved stage and now it is ready for bidding the actual documents for bidding can vary from project to project and tender to tender and can also vary from country to country hence the actual tender documents have to be generated outside the system and attached in the system as well let's say if we have a e tendering process the excels will be created and uploaded on the tender website once it is done the button will be clicked and tender is goes to the tender submitted state okay the final step comes into picture only when the project the tender is won okay once the tender is won the tender is moved to the allotted stage and then the project can be created for execution taking an example of a tender which is allotted as you can see once allotted you can create a project and we can do the project management of this particular project as well all information is copied here additional features which i have not demonstrated in this video also includes where we would be able to raise a request and create an invoice for the earnest money deposit there could also be cases of bank guarantee we will cover this when we when we manage earnest money deposits tender fees and bank guarantees in a accounting section of constructions industry crm demo okay thank you very much for uh, giving your time uh, we'll meet again with our next video which will focus on project management thank you